Hi everyone, we are back with another Practice Better Hack video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use snippets, one of our favorite features that will really help save you time and in a lot of cases, automate some of your workflow. So maybe you find yourself typing similar recommendations, maybe tips, resources, or messages to clients over and over again, and you're kind of sick and drained of all that copy and pasting. Maybe you have a great piece of content that you shared with a client, but you can't find it. You've gone back trying to dig for it and you just can't find it. Or maybe you have like an external resources document that you use for little tips and tricks that you send to clients and it's become really cumbersome for you to manage. Um, in any of those examples or cases, then snippets are going to be really uh, beneficial for you. So they're a really great way to organize and quickly include frequently used blocks of content in practice better. So you can use snippets when creating your session notes, protocol notes, in chat messages, even invoice line items, in your recommendations for food, lifestyle, or supplements, uh, appointment notes, as well as package notes. So they can be used in many different places in the platform. So the first step we're going to do to get this going is to actually create our snippet. So if you head to your settings icon here and shortcuts and snippets, this is going to take you to the text snippet section here. You can see that I have a few already set up, but if you're going to set up a new snippet, you'll use the red fast action to add snippet. Now I'm just actually going to go in and edit one that I've already created to just show you an example. So this example is a snippet for podcast recommendations. So let's say that's something that I, you know, commonly want to share with clients and I want to be able to easily pull that up, you know, no matter where I am in the platform, maybe I'm in a chat with a client, um, in their notes, whatever it might be. So the first step is to actually put the name of your snippet here. Now, this is just for your own internal reference. The client won't see that. You can optionally choose to um, determine where you want that snippet to be used. Uh, otherwise, you can just have it be any resource. But say you only want it to be used in protocols and recommendations, you could select that. You can select multiple or you can just leave it as any resource, which I've done here. You'll see the next two options, plain text and rich formatting. So with that, um, some text fields in your portal, such as the chat, for example, will only allow you to enter plain text. So without any um, formatting, bold, italics, links, that kind of thing. Whereas rich formatting is available when adding your snippets to session notes or protocol notes only. So you'll want to keep that in mind when you're creating the snippet. If you're going to be using it, anywhere besides a session note or a protocol note, you'll want it to be in the plain text format. In this case, I've created a rich formatting um, snippet and I'll show you a plain text one as well. But because I have links here, um, I used this insert link option for the podcast recommendations. I wanted to do that as a rich formatting um, option. Um, one thing you could do if you want to use something like this in multiple places, um, you could just create it as plain text so it can be used anywhere, or you could create two versions of the same snippet in uh, a rich formatting and a, pl a plain text formatting in order to be able to use that, you know, everywhere kind of thing. Okay. Um, so let's just go ahead and save here. And I'm just going to go into edit the next one. This is uh, what I've done is just duplicated that one and made it plain text um, here, which again, you can see um, this is the content. It's not you know, available to be formatted. Again, it's not, um, you can't hyperlink it, but you can then still include all of the details that you need there, okay? So we'll just go save. Um, so we've got a couple of those setups. So you'll wanna do that as your first step to set up your text snippets of whatever resources that you want to be sharing throughout the platform. And next we're going to look at how you can actually use these snippets. So you've set them up. So the first example I want to talk about is let's say you have a chat going with your client. And I'm just going to use the little messenger tab here. And let's say this is with Mary Smith. 
Um, and so I've got the chat here popped up at the bottom. And no matter where you are in the platform, no matter where you want to use your snippet from that list that I shared earlier, all you're going to do is type two curly brackets. So you can see those there. And you'll see as I've done that, I've got two snippets or three snippets that have popped up here. And again, these are the ones that are the plain text formatting because I'm in the chat. I can only use the plain text formatting options. Um, so let's say I wanna share those podcast recommendations that I just created um, in the chat with my client. So I'm just going to select that snippet and then you'll see it's just popped up here. So then you could you know, go in and edit it if you wanted to, but that just quickly and automatically brings up that block of content for you to then sat, send to your client. So I can just go ahead and send that in, in the chat to Marianne. With this being in the chat, it will still come through as a hyperlink for her to click on, which is nice. So that's one example of using your snippet in the chat. Um, but let's look at another example here too. So maybe you have, um, you know, you're working on some session notes for a client and you want to include one of your snippets in notes. So I'm just gonna go to Mary Smith's client record here and let's head to her notes section. So we've just navigated to Mary's notes section here. And I have a note already started that we can use just for this example. So I've opened up the note and then all you need to do again when you're in a note is the same thing. So you're gonna use those two curly brackets and there's the list. So because we're in a session note and this is one of the places in the platform in addition to our protocol notes that we can use the rich text formatting, you'll notice that I have a whole list of all of my snippets coming up here. Um, in addition, you'll notice like as I scroll down, because I'm in a note, there's also a couple other um, things I can pull in, such as the client's uh, name, email, basic information from their uh, client record and so on. Uh, but in this case, let's say we want to share my snippet that has a list of practitioner referrals. So I can just click that snippet and there it is. Um, so I've got that all ready to go just in one click, super easy to add to a note. And you know, when you're in a note, if you're wanting to share a certain section, as you probably know, you'll want to ensure you select this option as well as um, make this section visible to my client so that when you save the note, this will then set, uh, send to the client and share with them. So it's as easy as that. So again, I just showed you how you could use a snippet in a session note and in the chat. Uh, but again, anywhere in the platform from that list, um, again, as a reminder, protocol notes, invoice line items, your recommendations for food, supplement lifestyle, your appointment notes, your package notes. So all of those areas, all you do is simply just, again, use the two curly brackets, and that's going to pull up those snippets in that area of the platform. So really easy and just going to save you so much time if you have you know, these frequently used blocks of content, maybe again, it's resources, tips, referrals, whatever it might be that you share with clients and you don't wanna have to be typing those over and over again, copying and pasting them, trying to find them. Maybe you shared something with a client in the past and you wanna share it again. You just save it as a snippet and then it's super easy to just come back to that anytime. Um, one other thing I wanted to actually mention while we're here is that if you're in a note and you type something up and you actually wanna save that as a snippet, you know, right in real time when you're in your note, you could just highlight that um, text and go save snippet. And then that's going to uh, populate this um, create snippet option. So that's another way to create the snippet versus going to the snippets section of your settings. You can actually do that right from your note using this little um, eraser or whatever icon that little guy is. It says save snip snippet there. So you can do that too, okay? So I hope that was helpful in sharing a little bit about how you can use snippets to save time, streamline your workflow, um, and would love to hear from you below if you plan to try this out. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you back for the next hack video.